Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a great start. Um, I'm coming at you today with some not like true first sniff impressions, but just some cold sniff impressions, I guess you could say, of three new Kringle fragrances that uh, were released on Thursday of just this past week. Um, these are considered uh, winter fragrances. So um, these are kind of, I think, a good transition uh, to <laughs> prepare for after the holidays. I always, I, I know that I tend to struggle a little bit with home fragrance after the holidays are over because I am a very seasonal burner and I really kind of go into like this post Christmas depression every single year. Sorry, I'm gonna have to adjust the dog here. Um, I kind of go into a little bit of like a slump, I guess you could say, after the holidays, just because I love Christmas. Like this is my favorite time of year. I always look forward to it all year long and I feel like the season is just not long enough. Um, that's probably also the reason why I decorate my house so early in November, just so I feel like I have just a little bit more time with this particular season of the year. So, but usually after the holidays are done, all of my like tree related fragrances, a lot of the gourmands that are really kind of Christmas specific for me. All of that stuff gets put away until the following year. Um, and then I'm just left with like, what, what is this burn now? <laughs> I don't feel quite ready to dive into like fresh spring scents, obviously. And I'm not really like a, um, like I'm not a lover of eucalyptus. I'm not really a lover of lavender. Um, I'm not a huge mint person and I feel like sometimes that's what a lot of like the more like fresh type scents I feel like that's what a lot of people kind of like want to get into um and that's just like I kind of struggle with that because I don't I don't always love fresh scents <laughs> but I think we have some potential options here so I want to go through the descriptions the fragrance notes kind of give you my cold sniff impressions I am going to go ahead and start burning these and I will be reviewing them over the next couple of weeks. Um, so I will go ahead and link Kringle Candle in the description box down below. If you want to pick these up, you can use my discount code Melanie15. That'll save you at least 15% on these. I don't know at what point these are going to go on sale. Um, and yeah, usually that 15% tends to work with some of the different sales that are happening as well. So it's always worth plugging it in just to see if it'll apply to anything. Um, but these, uh, these scents specifically right now are starting out at their regular price, which is $31. Um, by the way, these are available in the daylights and the wax melts. So if you're not sure about the fragrances, I would say start there for sure. And they're available in the large jars. I found it interesting that they're not available in medium jars. Now, I don't know if they just haven't put the medium jars up yet, or if these kind of like, I would say early January releases here, <laughs> even though they're coming out in December. But I'm wondering if this, uh, if like the very beginning of 2024 is when we're going to start seeing um, no more medium jars coming out from Kringle. If you're not familiar, they are going to be expanding their range into offering um, larger sizes with additional wicks, which for me personally, I am very excited about that. Um, and their three wick candles are continuing. So I'm kind of wondering if they are just going to start pouring more three wicks um, since the the medium jars are seem to be like going the way of the dodo. I'm not really upset with the medium jars disappearing, by the way, because I never really purchased those myself unless it was like that was the only thing available in that particular scent and I really wanted it, yes, then I will pop a medium jar into my cart. But for the most part, I think the better bang for your buck has always been the larger size. So I don't know, that's just a me thing though. I'm not really sad about the, um, about the uh, medium jars going away is the moral of that story. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on sniffing through these. Um, so again, check the description box down below with a link to where to purchase these. But we're gonna get started with what would probably be 
my least favorite of the three so we're gonna leave the very best for last and this is winter cypress and i think it's gonna be obvious quite quickly here when i go through the description why this one isn't necessarily like in my wheelhouse i'm still gonna burn it I'm still gonna review it but just my first sniff impression of this like as i'm sticking my nose in it it smells like gum it smells like um is it double mint? I think to me it smells like double mint chewing gum. Which when I think of home fragrance, like I just have never thought like, oh, I wish my house smelled like gum. I wish my house smelled minty. Like I just have never thought that just myself. I know there are people out there who love mint and home fragrance. So um, if you love mint, like this is coming across as very mint heavy. Like that's just my very first impression of it. I think you're gonna love this. It really does smell like that gum. I will say, I out of the labels, I think, even though this isn't my favorite scent, something about the simplicity of this particular label here especially, just really, I don't know, I just think it's really beautiful. It is, I think it's just because it is such a classic winter scene, right? Um, if we get snow here in Oregon, in the area where I'm at, it's typically not gonna happen around December. Like the atmospheric conditions have to be just perfect for us to get snow here in Portland. Um, but typically we will either get it in either January or February. And um, yeah, so this particular scene for, you know, January or February just really makes sense. So I think this label here for this particular winter collection, I think was a really nice choice. Um, I do appreciate that, but let's read through these fragrance notes here. I don't know why I put the lid on that because I keep, I'm going to want to keep smelling it as I'm reading this. So winter cypress, immerse yourself in the crisp, um, invigorating embrace of cypress, peppermint, and eucalyptus um, as this refreshing fragrance transports you to a serene winter forest with hints of rose petals. Um, why, sorry, while, not with, while. <laughs> I can read, I promise. While hints of rose petals add an elegant touch to the pure, rejuvenating experience. Your top notes here are cypress oil, peppermint, spearmint leaf oil. The mid notes are baby eucalyptus leaves. Oh, baby, eucaly baby eucalyptus is my favorite type of uke. Um, and then the base is sheer rose petal accord. Um, yeah, if you're not familiar, there are lots of different types of eucalyptus. There's like the traditional eucalyptus that most people think of. Um, you know, the eucalyptus that people will oftentimes pop into their shower, like the really straight one that has like the small petals coming off of. Are you okay? All right, there you go. <laughs> that have like the small petals coming off of like a thick center stem. Then there's silver dollar eucalyptus. The baby eucalyptus that they're referring to here usually is, um, it's, a, it's a much smaller leaf. Um, and I do think that the, uh, just the overall fragrance of the baby eucalyptus is a little bit softer than the more traditional eucalyptus. It's not quite as harsh and astringent to my nose. Um, I, so I own my own floral design company. I'm not actively like working on projects right now. I just, I needed a break from it. And honestly, at this point, I don't know that I really want to continue with floral work, but I'm quite familiar like with the different types of eucalyptus and they do all kind of have a slightly different strength of like eucalyptus scent to them. And baby eucalyptus is the softest, which is interesting because I do have to say, on cold sniff, I am not getting the um, the strongest whiff of eucalyptus from this. It might come out a little bit more when I'm burning it, but right now it is specifically that spearmint oil, because they said spearmint oil, right? Yeah, spearmint leaf oil, the peppermint. I get a touch of cypress, but not a ton. There's not like a lot of cypress in here. It really revolves mostly around the spearmint, then into the peppermint. And rose, again, on cold is not anywhere present to my nose. I'm not smelling anything related to rose. I happen to really like rose and I'm just not getting it. I don't even know that rose would really make sense with this one, at least for my personal preferences. I think if you're gonna do a minty, minty scent, definitely just go with, sir, are, you are having all of like the struggles today. There you go. 
He's trying to like turn himself like into a donut. It, here's what he's trying to do. He's trying to turn himself like into a little donut and he's just really struggling with the process today. So everyone um, think good thoughts for Alf here <laughs> as he struggles on. Um, yeah, no rose, but lots of mint. If you are a mint lover, um, I think this is something that you are really, you're going to enjoy this a lot. Um, I'm going to burn her. This would probably for me be more of like a bathroom type of scent. Fancy lady bathroom. If you're new here, that's kind of like, it's like fancy lady is like a term that I used uh, quite a bit in the past. It's just like, Never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, it just, it smells, it smells very minty. If you want something minty, there you go. So if we're going in order of like what I enjoy here, uh, it's almost a little bit of a tie between the last two, but knit sweaters is definitely next in the lineup. I would say, um, I love the cozy and warm. Just prepare yourself for cozy and warm because I love it. I, I cannot wait to light that up. But knit sweaters, you guys, this is, this to me, I think is the type of scent that I can really get behind for the month of January because it kind of has vibes of like that cashmere type note as well as like some clean laundry type vibes. And for whatever reason, like this just is the easiest, um, I guess for my mind to kind of go to when like thinking about fragrances that I want to burn during January, it's usually warm, cozy cashmere type scents. Um, vanillas, vanillas are also a really great uh, option for me. In fact, I was saving the last of my Henry Bendel um, vanilla bean candles because I figured like that would be a great transition scent for me as well for the month of January. Um, gosh, I wish that candle would come back. That's a great one. I, I love that one. Um, another one is Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. Oh, that's a great one. That's, that's a really good one. But let's go ahead and read about knit sweaters. Okay. Wrap yourself in the cozy embrace of delicate florals, soothing cedar wood, and a touch of exotic coconut. While the heartwarming blend of sandalwood and amber layers over a base of benzoin, oriental spices, and musk, recreating the uh, essence of soft knitted sweaters on a crisp winter day. The top notes here are floral, coconut, and cedar wood. The mid notes are sandalwood and amber, and the base is benzoin, um, oriental, and musk. So this really does kind of give off the essence of like that kind of cashmere type vibe. Like when I smell these particular fragrance notes, and this is not some type of like new exotic type of scent. Like I've smelled fragrances very similar to this before from a lot of different um, companies. In fact, um, Scentsy has, uh, was it Cozy Cardigan? This kind of for me is in the same lineup as Scentsy's Cozy Cardigan, where it just comes off as like a warm, cozy, like sweater type vibe. That's cashmere sweater, basically. In terms of these actual fragrance notes, I will say that floral note is a little deceiving because I wouldn't, at least upon first sticking my nose in this, think, mmm, fresh flowers. Like, it's not like that. It's almost like a, a very soft laundry floral type note. Um, not overly strong, not overly aggressive at all. Clean, light floral laundry like that's that's the floral note that I would put here coconut there is a touch of coconut in here for sure it's not like your typical summer suntan lotion coconut it's um it's like it's interesting because it's 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 more of just like a pure coconut like you cracked open the coconut not a really sweet and it's not the most predominant note, but it's it's in there at the top. You can really, you really do smell that. It, it still makes sense though. Like even though coconut for me is kind of tropical, um, again, and that kind of makes it go towards the summer, I still think it makes sense in this blend. It's actually really quite nice in here. The more that I smell this, the more I, I'm actually starting to like it. This is really good. <laughs> 
I mean, I, I liked it to begin with, but this, this is one you want to keep smelling. Cedar wood. Now, the cedar wood they're mentioning here is quite light. Like, this is not aggressive on the cedar wood or, like, any type of, like, woodiness or earthiness at all. So don't think that. It's just, like, a touch. Just, like, in the background. Maybe, like, outside. Like, on a cold winter day. And you're inside with, like, your cozy cashmere sweater. <laughs> that was washed in some delicious, light-smelling laundry detergent. <laughs> Sandalwood and amber, absolutely. The amber here is really soft, it's pretty, it's not overly aggressive, it's not the most predominant note here. Sometimes amber can take over, it doesn't here. At least not on Cold Sniff. Sandalwood, yes, like a very smooth, creamy sandalwood. Again, not overly woody. This is not, this is not a masculine scent um, at all. That benzoin, to me, typically when I see that note, it comes off as like a fresh air type of note. And I, I don't think this smells like fresh air necessarily. Um, the oriental, I'm trying to figure out like what they mean by that. Like I feel like that to me kind of implies um, like almost like a type of like spiciness. I, I wouldn't consider this spicy. Or like particularly exotic smelling either, you know? Like there's no like saffron or like anything like that in here. But the musk, now this is one of those times where a lot of times when they, you see musk in a Kringle candle, they typically put that in there as a supporting element for other fragrances. But here I actually get a really nice musky vibe. Not dirty smelling, not like funky smelling, but a really just nice, soft, wintry musk type note. And it kind of works to tie everything together. Again, like this is really what I think Kringle uses that musk for quite frequently, but you can actually detect the musk in here and it works because again, w in terms of like that laundry type vibe, I feel like musk makes sense there, at least for me. But I, I'm telling you, the more that I'm smelling this, the more I really, really like this one. Um, this is a great scent. And if you typically gravitate towards these types of scents, you might wanna check this out. Um, yeah, this is good. I do like the, the I mean, they're all beige. <laughs> these are all beige sweaters. I kinda wish they had some different colored sweaters, but um, yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're a neutral person, this is quite neutral. <laughs> this is as beige as it gets. <laughs> now let's talk about cozy and warm because, oh yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna do some gourmands in January. But I feel like this is gonna be a good gourmand transition because it's not necessarily like a lot of the holiday scents that I typically go for. And I think so far, this is my favorite like coffee type fragrance that I have smelled from Kringle. Let's go through the notes on this one. I, I like that a lot. I might need some more of that. Okay, cozy and warm. Embrace the inviting comfort of freshly brewed coffee and foamed milk, elegantly intertwined with the warmth of cinnamon and the indulgent richness of vanilla, sweet cream, heliotrope, and musk, igniting a sensory journey that cocoon, ooh, I see a typo, cocoon, it should say cocoons you, but it says cocoon you. <laughs> in the tranquil embrace of a fireside retreat. Okay, top notes here are fresh brewed coffee and foamed milk. The mid notes are just cinnamon. The base is vanilla sweet cream, heliotrope, and musk. Okay, first of all, nice coffee note here, not acidic, not overly aggressive, and not the only thing that you smell. Um, next, it goes into that like, creamy milk note and it's it's not remotely sour this makes me want to brew another pot of coffee and i have no business having any more coffee today um but this makes me crave another cup of coffee this is so delicious you guys the sweetness level here is perfect it's not an overly sweet um coffee creamer milk concoction coffee creamer sugar what listen <laughs> slow it down melanie um coffee milk and sugar concoction sorry that was a major brain fart thank you for walking through that with me um 
it's like equal parts of all three, but the sweetness that they put in here is not overly sweet. Oh, so good. Now I do get some of that cinnamon, but it's quite faint, like really pleasantly faint. Um, Cause again, cinnamon again, takes me back to the holidays. So if I'm trying to get away from that, Ideally, there would be no cinnamon in here for me, but I do think the cinnamon that they put in here is a, is a nice touch. I think it is a nice touch. It's present, but it's not overly aggressive at all, and it's not spicy. It's not the spicy cinnamon, but the, the base of the, the vanilla, the sweet cream, I think that whole vanilla sweet cream and foamed milk, they, those kind of can all just be lumped together. It is a very creamy, smooth, milky note that's in here it is really well done it is not overly sweet no this is like it's the perfect it's like the perfect cup of coffee except i d i don't actually put sugar in my coffee i just do uh i do oat milk now but um yeah i love i love a good latte uh no no sweetness whatsoever is like i'm all over that but maybe i should start putting some sugar <laughs> coffee because that smells amazing now in terms of the heliotrope there is nothing floral coming across here at all so um i'm gonna just kick that out of the lineup for me personally um musk not mu not musk in the way of like knitted kn knitted knit sweaters musk <laughs> the musk that's in here is different this in here the musk in here i think supports the other notes it's not a musky coffee scent um, but this is a musky knit sweater scent, if that makes sense. But this one here, listen, if you like coffee scents, I, th I think this is worth a try. Obviously, if you're not sure, start out with those daylights, start out with those wax melts. But man, this is a great coffee option for the start of the new year. I'm going to start burning it now. I'll just, I'll just have to buy another one for January. That's fine. <laughs> but this is absolutely heavenly. You should try it. I think you're probably gonna like it if you like coffee scents. Um, I think if you like those laundry, cozy, cashmere sweater type vibes, I think this is gonna be the scent for you. And if you like the scent of double mint gum, I think you should try winter cypress because you're gonna be really happy with that one. So anyway, those are just kind of some first sniff impressions. I'm gonna hop off this video now. I'm gonna light those up. In my weekly home fragrance roundup next week, you'll probably see some initial impressions. And then the following week, I will put up reviews of all three probably in the same day. And that way, if you guys are interested in picking these up for after the new year, you will, you'll will have my thoughts at that point. So um, yeah, good job Kringle on this winter collection. I think it's a very interesting grouping of candles. They're all three very different. And um, I think there's kind of a little something for everyone in this particular release. So anyway, again, check out Kringle Candle with the link in the description box down below. Don't forget to use the discount code to save yourself a little bit of money. Um, just so you guys know, that is an affiliate discount code. Um, I always appreciate you guys using it. And just so you know, any money that I make through uh, the discount code, I usually just turn around and just buy more candles to review here on my channel. So yeah, anyway, um, as always, thank you for your support. I appreciate you being here. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new. And Alf and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Do-do-do.